All right, hello, welcome to my political life video blog, and get ready to defend the speech. This is our first, first series, because uh, every Wednesday, because everything else can be civilized about hate speech or free speech or hate speech, whatever happens. So you just have to trust about that. So, anyways, let's get started with, uh, you guessed it, Michelle Malkin. I try to, you know, I interviewed Michelle Malkin on um, last week on Primetime News on the Hallmark Channel, and um, and this is what happens. I this this is why because she shares on the fighting on free speech, to try to express social media, entrepreneur, and a conservative, and and this this is why she speaks out completely. So, and listen to this, Soros has funded left -wing because talk about George and Soros and all that stuff. Uh, the Center for American Center Progress. For Progress. Uh, we have a graphic. Can we see it, please? We have a the graphic here. People for the American Way, Media and, 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 all, and, and all that stuff. Uh, who, who is trying to silencing efforts? Just like this, like Media Matters and Media Matters Action Network, Center for Think Progress. Yeah. <clears throat> The Center for American Progress slash Think Progress, the Color Change, and the People for the um, Michelle Malkin explains this to all this crap. Listen to this last Thursday. Which are the worst offenders? Uh, last Thursday's primetime news. Listen to this. Well, Media Matters has been at the forefront of the speech squelchers who are highly organized, incredibly disciplined, and obviously deeply funded, not only by George Soros, but a number of left-wing foundations. And I think it's really important to note that so many of these outfits are tax-exempt, that they enjoy uh, so much largesse as a result of IRS laws, uh, and that under democratic administrations, the definitions of 501c3s and c4s have been stretched so that these blatantly partisan political organizations have cast themselves as somehow educational or social welfare groups. Uh, so you have Media Matters that's gone after every prominent conservative effective voice in the public square, and they'll use any pretext these people do this for full-time living. And as a result, it is undeniable, Laura, and uh, you and I have been fought in this arena for so many years now in both talk radio, on broadcast, and yes, on social media, where it has been so important for independent conservative voices to get their messages out. Uh, and we know that, um, that the encroachment of these censors uh, and these bullies in the public square has left a an undeniable cloud over the First Amendment and free expression. And if you see, I told you that she explaining is that who is responsible to silence silence us conservatives? Well guess what? The liberals does. Well guess what? Michelle Mulgut is right. Because the, right. This is this 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 is not the way to, to silence us conservatives at a time like this. This is not the way. I'm sorry. This is not the way. Think about this. What if everybody told you that we as conservatives could shut shut our mouths up and uh, let like bygones be bygones? Uh, no. Michelle Malkin explains this. Michelle has a deep deeply expression of how try to defend the First Amendment about this one. We cannot silence us conservatives. No way. We as conservatives can silence the left. And it's not our fault. It's the left. It's the left's fault. Sure, the liberals and the Democrats fault or whatever it is. This is so stupid. It's ridiculous. And if you want to talk about social media, just like Facebook and Twitter does, Twitter does, look no further. It's 
further as far as we're concerned. That's why I talked to your guest, Brent, guest at Brent Bozell. Brent, Brent Bozell from uh, Media, uh, Media Research Center. Gosh, it's been a long time since I met Media, uh, Media Research Center's own Brent Bozell. And I try to do my uh, Time Factor website 10, 10 or 20, 12 years ago. 12 years ago. And why? Because, cause, because every Friday, it's going to be uh, media, media, uh, media, all that stuff, uh, media, all that kind, of, kind of stuff. So that's why Brent Brazel and I go a long way back to do this, to this. So trust me about that. And speaking of, you guessed it, that's right, you guessed it, social media. Social media, and you know what I mean. I talked to Brent Bozell last Monday on Primetime News on the Hallmark Channel. Channel, and 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 here's why: because Facebook and Google, uh, Twitter, because everything else could be censoring us, conservative speech. That is wrong. <laughs> wrong. And look at this. Here's to, it's just to remind you. That claims from the former employees that's censored by us conservative speech by tech giants. That Facebook hides conservative content from the trending. That's right, the trending section and back up by a detailed study. And Google and YouTube and Twitter, just like I always do, partner with this, ugh, the leftist groups, like such as. Southern Poverty Law Center that hate what? And what about the 25 members on the panel that guides the Twitter policies? 12 liberals, 12 of these are liberals, and one of them is. That's about it. It's according to <laughs> according to the Media Research uh, Media uh, Media Research Center. And what that all means, that this is, this is no fair. This is not fair at all, period. We want, we want more conservatives, better than 12 liberals, as far as we concern. So how the tech giant, as far as we concern? I talked to Brett Bozell last Monday, and here's what the hell is going on with this whole charade? I'm about my colleagues Dan Gaynor and Ashley Goldenberg. It's 50 pages documenting what, what conservatives have been suggesting has been happening. Um, this is, it sounds hyperbolic, but Laura, this is true. This is the emerging, uh, the, the greatest censorship of free speech worldwide in the history of man. And let me explain this. The left is on a jihad against conservative thought. It's happening in academia, in entertainment, in business, religion, everywhere. Everywhere where they're attacking, they're suppressing conservative thought. Now they're going to the social media giants. These social media giants have audiences in the billions. And what we've shown in this massive report is whether it's Facebook or Twitter or Google or YouTube, they're all employing different tactics to go against conservatives. Let's go. Now you see, let's see, it happens. Because, because always known as censor. Get rid of that censor thing. The media companies are being suppressed by those, yeah. We don't want to hear no hate speech at all. Put this in rain for you, liberals. Because Brent Bozell is absolutely right. Because you cannot declare war on us, conservative movement. I don't care, everybody else knows. You cannot declare war. Because everything else like a civil war or anything else can be civilized at a time like this. So, the moral of my political life video blog story is this. 
try to respect others. Try to respect us conservatives. Because you liberals should be ashamed of yourselves. Try to put a big, huge censored on this mess. Don't you have no shame at all? Shame on all of you. That is right. We, as conservatives, will defend the whole speech. We, as conservatives, defend the whole speech. You can say hate speech all you want, uh, but, uh, but it's not going to work. Completely. Now, next Wednesday, Cheryl Atkinson will explain to this and lots more next Wednesday for defending the speech. Starts every Wednesdays from my political life, political life video blog from youtube.com slash music one You just have to trust me about that. And so is my personal website, elishmusictimeblog.weebly.com. And now you know the rest of the darn story. Stop this mess. Accept one or option. You cannot trash us conservatives like that. We can say, we can say these things. We can be free all you want because you have to count your costs for your liberty. Because free speech is the right to say it. And please do not censor us ever again. For God's sakes. And that is my political life video blog story. And I'm sticking to it.